Welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead, y'all. I am Papa Pepper, and um, a number of you requested a garden tour. I'm hoping I put forth some effort into this garden sometime soon, but for the moment, I'm gonna give you a tour, and then hopefully we can do an after tour if I actually invest some work and time into this. So I'll, I'll show you what I got going so far, and we'll move forward from there. I'm just going to point the camera away from me, do some narration, and walk around this thing. I'm going to try not to jiggle or wiggle too much because I don't want to give anyone motion sickness or things like that. But let's take a look at the main garden area and see what's actually happening here. Ready? Let's go. So here I have some bush beans planted in front. And then in the back row there should be some other beans. And then right along this edge you can see there's bitter melons growing. So that's pretty nice. In here, there's bitter melons on this one, so they cover that. The wild passion fruit is coming up, and I do have like purple pod king tut peas on the back wall that are drying. So I'm ready to harvest those seeds. Up front here, I also have some marshmallow that receded itself. I'm just gonna let it grow for this year, and then I'll remove it. Um, and then a lot of different squash growing. Here's some wonderful stuff. And out of all these raised beds here in front of my chicken area, I put them in two winters ago. And then I added the fence between these archways. And then I put the rebar up top, but this one I didn't run the wires on yet. See, that's got the guy going right across the middle. Here I didn't put the wires on yet. So this passion fruit is actually flowering and it's just kind of running on there, right? That bed is not planted at all. Um, here we have mostly a lot of toothache plant, although mama's got some ginger growing in here. Toothache plant will fill in real nice. Again, there's different peas. I think there's the Uraizun Japanese wing bean growing up there. And then with the passion fruit on the back that goes to the top, there's also bees, uh, beans that'll fill in. Here is where a chicken did have a nest in this catnip. But I don't want this much catnip here, so I'm going to cut all that down and wind up planting some stuff in. You can see it's tipping over into the walkway after the big uh, wind recently. The guy dangling off the back is a grapevine. Here's passion fruit. And it's pretty much wherever this stuff starts growing, we let it grow. I got a row of corn in the back. There's some beans planted behind there. And then some squash up front and some other ones there, uh, beans. But you can see all that stuff there, all that green stuff is passion uh, passion fruit. So I'm gonna run a fence just between here cause we just got some service berries planted in the middle and nobody needs to go into that area. So we'll go. More bush beans here. Along this edge, I have an amount of uh, my permanent ones, which are grapes growing up there. And then these guys are Chinese red noodle beans across the front. And in front of them is planted some peppers, but uh, they're not all there. We've lost some. That archway needs to be worked with. That's where my uh, baby fat achata cucumbers normally grow. It's not doing too well. This area has got to get worked on too. This is one of my hugel mounds. There's a persimmon tree in front of it. I think a celeste fig in front of it. And then you got all these weeds. And then we have the, uh, I think the Japanese purple um, mustard greens going to seed. And then over here is just a bunch of the, uh, the winter wild edibles, which I use as a cover crop. They're pretty much died out and all of this Lamb's quarter, um, we'll eat some, we'll give some to the sheep, and that all needs to be cleared. And then I do have cilantro going to seed down on this end, so. Same thing here, just some of the um, mustard greens and some carrots, but there's really nothing planted in here. I've gotta, I've gotta weed it and work it and actually plant it, and we'll see what happens. Over here, we have our new section of sun chokes. So they're doing pretty well. Um, just planted this one the other day, garden bed number 66 back over here. I'm gonna give it a good soak. We'll see, throw it in the full sun. It's gonna be sweet potatoes. 
The Ruth Stout potatoes are there. Kids planted some watermelons, which are very little, but they're growing. And then I got a lot of work, uh, let's see. We're just gonna look at this and then we'll jump in. Here is a bunch of my blue curly scotch kale going to seed. Some of them are getting dry. But this, the seeds will be harvested soon and this whole bed will be replanted. Um, here we got a bunch of our peas going to seed. We got some sugar rush peach, peppers out front. Here is also where we've been throwing our like apple seeds, pear seeds, uh, peach pits, stuff like that. So there's a lot of little trees growing up here and I'm gonna wait for them to be dormant in the winter and move them other places. Hopefully they'll produce some good fruit. It can be hit or miss and if they don't produce good fruit, we will graft into them. Marshmallow in the corner. And then here, this is one of my, I love this. Oh, the honeybees are all over it too. But there are so many berries on these thornless blackberries. This is a nice wall, there's so much fruit there. Can you guys see them all? There's just a lot of them and they're still growing. They got a long way to go. So let's enter at the end and we'll go through there. Um, I do have snake gourds planted along this fence line. They're young, they're starting up. There's clary sage and white whorehound behind that. Here's a couple of snake gourds. Um, a fig tree from the original forest. Oh, sorry, not a fig, sassafras. And then we do have some tomatoes and basil that receded itself from last year. The carrots, I transplanted some carrots that were growing and then sometimes they'll go to seed. So this is getting pretty big, they're gonna go to seed. This is where I have some of the uh, tomatoes planted. They are setting fruit, so can't wait for them to go. Oops, are you gonna focus? No. I don't know why it's not wanting to focus, but there's a bunch of tomatoes in this area. And I'm just gonna let them grow up these archways too. A bunch of ones I gotta work on there. Ooh, man, I had a couple left that didn't, oops. Sorry, tomatoes. Well, and this is all lamb's quarters. I gotta take that all out and plant it. I'm just letting it hold the position. This tall stuff here, I'm just letting grow. That stuff there I all cut down and gave part to the animals and then left it there as a space filler. But you can see all these tomatoes are tipping over. I gotta tie them up and get them going. I do have, I think, cayenne peppers planted in this area, but I gotta weed it again because a lot of grasses a lot of uh, morning glory. Here we have regular mustard greens that are completely dry. I should save those seeds today. And then that bed will be open. Um, through here we have the sunchokes, but they're growing out in the pathway. See, I got some here and some there. They're growing out in the pathway. This clary sage has got to get cut down or cut back. Sneaking through. And then these guys too with the wind, they, a lot of them tipped out. I'm just gonna put them back in and wrap the wire around them to keep them in. On my cold hardy kiwi trellis, we've got cold hardy kiwis growing. Some of these are gonna have to get trained up. See that's running to the actual fence. And I gotta do just a little bit of refencing, and then the sheep and goats are gonna come in this area and they would nibble all this down. So I'm gonna have to train that up. And then as this gets bigger, I planted a bunch of Chinese red noodle beans to let them fill in the blank. Something was digging in here, probably a squirrel. It doesn't look like an armadillo. But I gotta pull the weeds in the path again, too. Um, strawberry beds here are thick and they're spreading. The muscadine grapes on each side of this, oh, we do have Japanese beetles already. I hadn't seen any yet. But this archway here, I gotta weld. Um, some stuff and then train up these muscadine grapes, which are, I mean, look at that. There's a lot of grapes in there. There's a lot of them hanging there. Um, here we got the Egyptian walking onions. They are doing great and they are already forming all their bulb bills for this year. So these guys I love. When you dehydrate them, the, the stems, 
and uh, grind them up. It smells like an amazing Italian seasoning. They have a shallot like bulb at the bottom. They'll grow up and make this and then this will tip to the ground and grow again so that's why they call them walking onions. So these ones are drying. I can pick them up and put them for sale in our Etsy shop soon. There we have some trifoliate citrus and rhubarb. Over here we have the Malabar spinach coming in thick. So Malabar spinach everywhere across here. And these peas are the ones I like. I don't like English peas as much because to me if I can eat this whole thing, that's better than having to shell them. Look at some of those. Mm. So this red stem Malabar spinach, this one's already four feet tall and they'll cover this wall. Here's where more of those blackberries dip in. Here we're gonna try growing snake gourds this year. Looks like this one got taken out. See how wilty it is? Might have been a vine borer. This one's doing all right, but we do have the squash bugs mating on it right now. So we'll see. And there's more little ones coming in. So I'm hoping we can have a big wall of snake gourds here. Hops is probably something you don't want to plant in your garden like this. I did. These figs I got to actually uh, prune back. I'm going to prune them back and top them. Got more catnip here. Mama Pepper has a nice little rosemary growing down in there. Yarrow's going to see. This catnip's all got to get cut back. Tomatoes I'm growing across here, and then the peas. We grow peas up a lot of our trellises first. Hold on, baby girl. I believe you. We grow peas up a bunch of our trellises first and early and get harvest off of them, and then let these other plants fill in. Now you can see that the tomatoes, there's one, have overtaken the peas, and then we'll cut the peas out of there. More peas here. Also got um, Ugandan elephant repellent. Peppers. These, this plant here is um, the black raspberries, and there's also a uh, American beauty berry in there. I've got, uh, obviously, the poke salad and stuff. I haven't redone these beds yet. Here's where I have my comfrey and some apricot trees. Got to redo all that. Here we have um, chicory. On the back side is red Russian kale. Made it through the winter. It's going to seed now. I like that. I'll be saving those seeds more comfrey. There's the bush cherries. They are going to need to be changed because they're taking up way too much space. And then in here I got to weed this out too. See this is one of, my, one of the few ghost pepper plants I have growing. Right there. But it's about to fight for its life. Got potato onions back there. Those are pretty cool. This is a section that I really need to just fence off and let the animals eat to nothing. There we have ground cover of strawberries with the Chinese goji berries going up the back. Here again we have all these wild uh, passion fruits we just let grow. Some of my lettuce I'm letting go to seed. And then I'll hopefully plant some this fall. That'll work good for us. Big dill. Oh, you're getting golden raspberries? Good girl. The aronia berry bush here is setting fruit. So those berries will be ready in a bit. Um, I gotta find something to plant up this. I guess I didn't plant anything here yet. I'm just letting the seeds of the peas mature. More dill here. There I'm letting onions go to seed. And on the back wall there is a row of peas. Here's a couple of the fruit trees. This one is plum. This one over here is apricot. And I got arugula, rocket going to seed beneath it. She's picking some of these guys, which we got from Shalom Makers originally. They are the golden raspberries. So you can see the older canes are the ones putting forth the fruit right now. Mama. Look at that baby girl. Ah. Yeah, yummy, yummy. Oops, sorry. And yes, the pad cacti, the nopales, they are doing great. Horseradish is coming in hard. I had to replant some of the okra I had planted. I got a couple of them growing in, but done. you're done? Okay. More seeds will be coming in there. 
This pretty much turned into all lemon balm, which is fine. It blocks out the weeds for now. And there's some potatoes from last year, it looks like growing in there. These are the ch Korean goji berries. They're gonna do good, but I gotta do work. I mean, they're coming across all the paths. More thing has to happen here. I just have um, lamb's quarter in the middle, chase tree in the back, a couple of a pepper seed experiment I'm doing here. They're the same kind as the ones here. This stuff all has to be planted. This one's gonna be, all these peas will be harvested for seed, and then we'll plant something else up here, probably a type of bean. Here we have just more peas. You can see them dangling there in the middle. We're still eating some, but then we're letting a bunch go to seed. And then across here we have um, sweet potatoes, but something, I think it's a woodchuck, has been coming in and nibbling a lot of stuff down in my garden. So, I gotta plant cucumbers. I gotta plant more peppers that I have seedlings for. I gotta plant, uh, those will take care of our greens, the Malabar spinach for a while. But there's a lot of work to be done here. Um, it's kind of a, a full garden tour at the moment. Got to do a lot of weeding. Got a lot of compost I can top dress the beds with. And then we do have a lot of uh, propagated plants here and over on my little area um, behind me there. That all, uh, either got to find homes here or on somebody else's homestead, but I got to Got to keep moving with it. That's the that's the main area stuff. I'll show you just a couple things as I walk back home. Hey, baby girl, come with Papacito. <laughs> but where we planted those bush cherries and service berries and strawberries here is doing okay. Around our perimeter of our property, there's gooseberries and persimmons and pawpaws and walking onions and the wild garlic and elderberries and mulberries and strawberries. It's just kind of the, here's the drive through. So between the pasture and there, got all sorts of stuff like that planted. Um, got a lot of things in the works, but there's a lot of room for improvement. And um, I'm gonna jump back in the pit, see what I can do there. It's just many people wanted a, a current events tour of the garden. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna go find that little girl. Maybe take a picture of her for the cover photo. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all of your encouragement. Here she comes. And uh, hopefully you liked what we got going on. We got a long way to go. So I'm gonna get back to work. Pop out. Thank you for watching. It's the last one. Thumbs up.